Well, Fisher Advantage is the orientation for our full-time MBA program. Uh, it's a pretty intensive period where we help the students get up to speed on what it's going to take to be successful in the MBA program. We have between 500 and 800 students attend each day. We're all about building relationships, and this is how students build relationships with employers. This is a really great opportunity to meet potential employers and to get used to, you know, what are, what are the people looking for right now in the actual working world. We bring uh, 12 business schools to campus to compete. The competition centers around an internationally focused case, and so students have the opportunity to learn about different markets, how business is done in other countries. When they announced the winners, it was really, we, we weren't expecting it at all, so it was a really cool um, experience. Iconic companies. What name did Iran give this missile? Exelon and pg &E. It's Chrysler. That's correct. We are all surrounded every day by our global business environment. And it's so important that students in business schools, as well as throughout the universities, are aware of the issues going on, the decisions being made, and the challenges that they're going to be faced as they enter the business world. One of the inherent disadvantages you have if you're trading off the exchange is there is that time lag. We had discovered that no one in the country or in the world for that matter taught an entire course on the history of financial thought. This is a brand new idea that is now sweeping around the world and the Fisher Colleges are in the forefront of this new development. Finding a class that describes the individuals who had the notable contributions in finance was probably one of the luckiest things I've had this quarter. As an emerging markets class, it's the trip and the class major focus is really about exposing Fisher students to the idea of emerging markets, understanding them, um, identifying them, and really understanding how they work. I think it's a way for them to ask for a real world situation, maybe try to translate what they're learning in the classroom to what they can expect in a working environment. I, I think it benefits both the mentors and the mentees. From my perspective as a mentee, it really helped me learn some of the things that I wasn't planning to learn in the class. It is a one-day summit in which we bring together policymakers, academics, and practitioners and foundations to talk about market-based approaches to poverty alleviation. I think Fisher got behind this because business is the most powerful agent of change and transformation. We've shown that capitalism is such a, a powerful force, and if you harness that power, you can do amazing things.
Green Supply Chain Symposium is, is an effort to bring various thought leaders and stakeholders on the same platform to discuss ideas about sustainable supply chain. These young people who are talking about these issues now are going to be sensitized to the importance of this topic. They actually are equipped with the tools that they can use to make the supply chains greener. Emerging markets uh, are in many ways a totally different entity and doing business in emerging markets is quite different from doing business in, in, in a developed economy. I mean today's business is global so any, any business student needs to have a global perspective. Whether you're working in the United States or abroad, the United States companies are competing against international firms. So that experience is crucial to success in today's business world. It's really been a, a great experience in honing my skills. Uh, before doing this, I never had written a business plan. I had never done detailed financials. So it just gave me a really good overview of what you need to do, how to pitch to investors if you have that big idea. The bigger happening here is actually creating entrepreneurial thinkers, students who can lead and champion new enterprises, whether they're working in a social setting or a for-profit setting, working for hospitals or working for some startup company of their own. We want to give them, make them the change makers that we know that they're capable of being, and then give them that sense of confidence and opportunity to do it personally.